Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are continuing our series in the Zanesville group of Goodwills. Um, we are down here in New Lexington today. We're going to visit their Goodwill. Um, I, this is again another one in my local area. I've been to, they usually have a very small hard goods section, but as we've learned from St. Clairsville, a small one doesn't mean you can't find anything. So we're going to go inside. We're going to see what we can find and then... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go inside and see what we can find. So um, if you are new here to the channel, my name is Sheena. Um, I am currently visiting every Ohio Goodwill. And I am at, I think this is 172 store. 173, 173. Um, there are about 188-ish stores in the state of Ohio. So I am almost done. So let's go here to New Lex and see what we can see. Oh, that's so hard. $3.99. Oh, Call of Duty fridge, Fortnite fridge. $5.99 looks to be about the average for the purses. It's very quiet in here. And this is their corner for toys. They have a lot of the bag items. Um, yeah, it looks like a lot of Thomas the Train. Nine dollars each bag of trains. Dollar ninety-nine. I might get this for try. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, eight ninety-nine for totes over here. Some exercise machines, six dollars. All right. So they got office supplies, health stuff. And then some bulky items. The linens here. That's so cool. for candles. Nine dollars for jeans, five. All right, we are all done here at New Lex. I did not get very much film in. Um, they were very, very busy, and as small as they are, you can't really film without people being right there, which is fine. I did actually get two bags of Barbie dolls. They were five dollars a piece. There was about five Barbie dolls in there. Um, I am going to be having a Barbie doll whatnot sale at some point, so I'm like, well, there's a couple that was really interesting, and a couple that was like, eh, so I went ahead and got them, and then I bought a, it's, it's not an off-brand, but it's a, it's a, it's a side branch of Yadro, I think is what it's called. I'll put a picture up and tell you about it, but it was only like $3, so I went ahead and bought that, so. We are going to put these two in the video together. Um, I am going to go ahead and go back to Zanesville 
and go to the bins and then I'm going to film in there. So that is where you will be here in just a minute. All right, we are here today now at the bins, the Goodwill bins of Zanesville. Um, they are located here on C Route 40, right outside of the west side of Zanesville. Um, I will put the address, of course, on the screen as I'm walking in. But this is like their sorting center and then their administrative offices for the group is here. And they just opened this last year, two years ago, something like that. Probably sort of big items are they price. Oh, oh. Oh, this is look really cool too. Alright, this is one of the rows of the bins here. I did not bring my GoPro, so. Go there, I'll be back. It is brought out a new row, so we're gonna go over here and look. Stay around too much longer. Um, there was a guy over there uh, going through looking for littles at the bottom, which is kind of what I do. So he's already looking. There's really no point in me looking. I'm still going to, but I'm not going to dig and be as aggressive as I get. Watkins Ginger. I might look those up. There's three or four here. That's bad. Eh. I figure if they're here, they're not really worth too much. But we'll just 
go through here, see what we can find. See if they missed anything. Ha ha ha. <laughs> it's like a trivet, I think. A shell trivet. Doesn't really weigh much, so I'll go ahead and, and get it. It's a whole bunch of totes, but like none of them really have lids. Some cosplay goggles. <laughs> Dollar General basket. Yeah, this is. Pretty scarce. This is normally what they look like, though. Um, I mean, but I don't come a lot, so I can't say normal. Normal for when I'm here. But besides that, I can't really speak on what they have. But I don't normally find anything really too much, so I don't tend to usually come back. Oh, there's some ornaments. They look plastic, but I'll look. What's oh. Jack's? It was shaking in there and I thought they were broke. It's gonna be so sad. Yeah, they're plastic. Alright. So I'm gonna have to almost be done and just look up my stuff. See what I have. Really neat for just like decoration purposes. Um, okay. All right, I'm gonna look here for some more Christmas, but that should probably be about it. All right, this is what I got. I got these from the New Lex store. They're just some random Barbie dolls. I think she's something interesting. I think she's something interesting. She is. These are a little older, but not really too old. Got an Imagine X character for my collection to sell. This is for Trey. This is for a project. These sell for $16 to $20. I got some Color Street nails. Got this girl here. She's the one that's the off brand of, or the secondary branch of Yaldro. And then I got their album cover there for Christmas decoration for myself. All right, that is it for me for today. Um, sorry, it was a short video in both stores. Um, it's hard to film with a phone in the bins. Um, I should have brought my GoPro, but I didn't think about it. It's car pulling in. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, that is it for me for today, like I said. Uh, the last one that I have to do in the Zanesville group here is Pickerington. I'm going to have to do that one the next time I'm up by Columbus. So embrace your thrifty soul, guys. Bye.